Well, hello again. This is the Tech Power TP8268 multimeter. It's true RMS. Just got this in today, and uh, we're going to unbox it right now, and then we'll run a little test on it and see how she does. Um, so let's get right into it. Open up the box here. We've got a little manual. It's actually more than one page, so that's good news. Uh, let's pull the meter out here. Uh, nice little plastic bag. Got that new smell. Well, the feel of it is really nice. Uh, it's uh, feels pretty solid. Doesn't creak or make any funky noises. Got a nice little screen protector already on it. it uh, Bubbles probably come off. So it looks pretty good. The uh, multifunction socket. Actually, the pins look pretty good on this. I'm surprised because normally these are pretty janky, but I don't know if I can get in close enough for you to see. Um, get the focus. The pins are actually in pretty good shape. Uh, that'll come in handy. Uh, now, while I appreciate the effort, um, this will be used for something else. Uh, these tend to break after a small amount of time and you end up with uh, battery acid in your multimeter. So now, And then the uh, probes, let's take a peek at these. They're actually sealed, that's good. I've heard complaints about a couple things on these. One, the point doesn't come to a point that it's actually more like a ballpoint pen or it's rounded. And I don't even need uh, to get my magnifying glass to see that it is not to a point. Um, the feel of these are rather uh, cheap. Um, the cables are pretty stiff. Um, it kind of hangs there by itself. Doesn't need any help. They're, they're really stiff. Um, people say, well, I don't understand. You know, what, what's the deal with the stiff cable? When you're working in an environment and you're trying to, to move these around and they're getting tangled up and everything because they're stiff, uh, you get real quick to understand that Flexible cables better. Um, let me see if I can get this in enough to where you can see the end of it. I don't know if it's going to zoom in enough. Yeah. It's like a ballpoint pen. It's just not to a point. It's rounded out. Um, and it is stainless silver all the way down, which some of them are. I think the gold ones are better. So we'll get a fresh battery. And uh, I'll pause the video and we'll come back and run it through some tests. Okay, so we've got the uh, battery in. And uh, took a good look at it. It's got some pretty neat, you know, the stand looks like it's pretty stout. I mean, I wouldn't worry about breaking that. I uh, did notice that the fuses are not accessible through the battery panel. Um, so we're going to take the, the case off to get to the fuses if we blow one. Um, this outer cover here is pretty nice. Uh, it's, just, it's rubberized. It's kind of stiff right now. It's got a nice little groove that that fits in. I don't see this uh, being anything but extra added good protection. Um, I've noticed that on these tips that they added something, there's a little cover on here it's where only the tip is exposed. This comes off. You can get the whole probe, um, which I've seen other reviews on similar. There's backlight on similar ones where they are rubbing these and you're getting that funky sound. Well, you make a good contact and it doesn't matter. Um, 
it sounds fine. This is an aluminum plate that I have on my workbench. I mean, come on, guys, what else do you need? Uh, yeah, it makes noise when it's not, when you move it around, because it's not connecting all the time. So, anyhow, uh, these are nice. Uh, I'll probably keep them on, because it does, it does uh, keep you right on the tip. Um, plus, it doesn't allow you to, uh, to short on each other if you're doing high voltage. Uh, like I said, it's got a great back screen. I'm under a fluorescent light right now, and it, it's still, uh, you see how it'd be in the dark? It's bright. And uh, I tell you, it seems quite well constructed. The uh, cables, again, like I say, they're, they're, they're stiff. Uh, but I think after time, those may loosen up. It's not a concern. I checked these and I checked another set that I had um, off of a, a, a much higher quality meter. Um, and they did, these did just as well. Um, so they're accurate probes. I'll, I'll leave them on this one. Um, if I need to do something really accurate, then I'll use my fluke. So I'll work with this and uh, run it through the paces. Uh, put it up against my fluke on a couple things and come back and do a follow-up video. Uh, give a final review. Right out of the box, though, I do think it's going to make uh, a nice one to drag around in the dirt. Uh, rather than taking my fluke outside. Um, so, like I said, I'll play with it and uh, go through the book, see see what's bad about the translation. That's always common. And then I'll give it another review of how she actually performs. Thanks for watching.